You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials, but Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Nero amp. The bug will never know Infinity successfully stole from Ryujin. Exactly. Ryujin. And what the public doesn't know doesn't hurt them. This is why I prefer science and exploration. Corporate dealings are definitely not for me. Yeah. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. Now that's an idea I can get behind. I've definitely controlled my share of narratives to get a few things done. Now we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Uh -huh. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. So if I have gas going all over there, am I going to need a different outfit? Smiling at me. Uh, different outfit for airborne stuff. Less people in the building, the better. My thoughts exactly. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Thanks. Just make sure you follow through on that statement. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. Love to see the look on Lucas's face when the story is broadcast system-wide. You and me both. So, any final questions before you go? What kind of security am I going to encounter? Depending on whether or not you evacuate the building, You'll mostly be looking at security guards, much like we have here. You may encounter an automated defense system in the form of turrets as well, so be careful. All right, ready. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen. I hate waiting. It's just more time to doubt myself. Do you have the program? I do. I'm certain Ularu won't pass up this opportunity. So, let's take a look. In a book. Aha! The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. 
The moment you launched the Overseer program, I watched a little bit of that in middle school. communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. I'm shocked. Shocked. I'm going to copy <laughs> the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. Good. The sooner I can forget about her and all this mess, the better. So she was going to frame Masako and use her overseer program to do it? Yes. And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. Sure. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of yours. <sighs> the Eugene CEO is no joke in the board. Uh, can I just go to my ship? No, because I'm Get my stamina up. You're out there a lot, right? In space. You didn't hear this from me. Are those expensive mercenaries? Take a couple rests. Can make it. Hey, hey, you might want this. I'm not going to carry any more until I get rid of this. Better. Much better. 
Okay, so I think we gotta go to New Atlantis. Talk to the news peeps. I have something for you. Welcome to Infinity LTD's corporate headquarters. Hello. Did you have an appointment with us today? Um, my name is Skylar Lumen. I have an appointment with marketing. Uh, yeah. Ah, yes. From Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take you to the marketing floor. Once you arrive, you'll want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be happy to help you. Uh, restricted! Roof access it is. safe. Welcome to Affinity LTD's marketing department. Desi you notify know me that you are on your way. If you just have a seat, I can notify Miss Hart that you've arrived. Oh, I don't think I put my outfit on, did I? Come twenty five percent harder to detect. I don't notify Miss Hart that you are here. Okay. Feel free to use any of the facilities on the floor while you wait. The break room and bathrooms are just around the corner. to do find a way to the research and development run the program on lucas's computer
Presentation would have been notified. Okay, now. Oop, wrong one. Manipulate the guard to turn off the fan. Sabotage the heating system. Run the program on Lucas's computer. So if we put on our operative suit, it's everything in bright white. Let's put on some dark clothing so we won't stand out. Should have left Barrett behind. This didn't go as planned at all.
Uh, he's murdering everybody. Oh, my bad bringing Barrett with. <laughs> ha! Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Bro. do is down. There you are, old boy Up to bed. All right. Go spread out. Bam. You're welcome, oh, everyone. Yeah, I should be on the make the main quest. Talk to the dude. Barrett just murdered everybody. This is not going to go well. I need to get down to our R and D. With everything going on, I'm not sure how this is going to happen. I need the guard in there. I needed to control his mind. What I needed to do. I don't know if he's going to be over there. I you messed this one up. If 
I have to reload. But this one maybe? I think I'm gonna leave this time, remember. Let's try the roof access. some shin splints from that. <laughs> I bet you I did too. <laughs> I liked that comment. That was awesome. This gas gonna be bad for me? Guard is right there. It's not like I can sneak around him. And I can't get through here. 